welcome back youtube today on this channel pinkman solution i'm gonna be teaching you how you can guys crack a simple c program or any other program for that matter the theory is the same but for this demonstration i'm gonna be cracking a simple c program but before starting you're gonna need three things gcc python and of course the vim editor if you now if you guys don't have any of this just go ahead and install these softwares by using this command sudo apt install and the name of the program that you want to solve like say python and similarly for other stuff also gcc and vim editor now assuming you have all the three tools ready in your computer let's go ahead and dive into the cracking part so first let me move to my desktop area here i'm gonna write a simple c program which will accept a command line argument for the key and validate if it's a correct key it's gonna print out access granted and if it's not the correct key it's gonna say wrong key entered so let me just go ahead and write the simple c program here i'm checking if the argument count is not equal to zero then i'm gonna just simply say invalid arguments now let's just oops i think i misspelled something let me go ahead and correct it it should be argc actually not argc Weird. Now let me just run again. Ooh, it says segmentation fault. Let me just run with some wrong key. It's running fine, but for the correct. Uh, oh, yeah. So I'm just gonna add the return zero statement after the invalid argument statement. That's just gonna fix everything. Oh, I need to compile it again to work. Uh, now it should work uh, perfectly fine. Yeah, it's working correct. Now let me just clear the screen and let's just test it with the correct key and see what happens. Yeah, it says access granted. Perfect. Now, let's say you are given this binary of this program and you are not aware of the C code. Now, how are you going to crack this program? Given only the binary executable file. Simple, just print out all the strings present inside the binary using strings command. Now, as you scroll up, you can see all the strings present inside the our binary here you can see our key in the plain text and that was easy hmm. uh, you might be wondering that was something easy we can do ourselves why we need to watch a video so our programmer can be more clever he might be he might not be using the key directly he might be cal calculating the sum of all the ASCII character and comparing it with the entered key so let me just go ahead and do that now we need to compute the sum of ASCII values of our key for that i'm gonna write a simple python script which will compute the hex sum of all the character inside my key pinkman solutions so let me just go ahead and write that function I hope it should work fine. Yeah, we got our hexam which is 1381. Now we're gonna 
paste this sum inside a C program. That looks fine. Now if we just go ahead and compile a program again, the programmer has no way of knowing the key and directly in plain text. Now let me just I test it with the correct key in order to confirm that it's working fine. Bing uh, man solutions. Yeah, access guarded. Oh, perfect, it's working fine. Now for now let's just again test it with the wrong key, it's working fine, correct. Now if we do a strings command again on a, on this new binary, we're not gonna see any of the f key because we didn't have it in our program. So how are we gonna crack this? But first let me make a keygen script which I'll be writing down later now to crack this program we're gonna need a gdb which is essentially a gdb debugger if you don't have it you can download it using the sudo apt install command so let me just go ahead and run the gdb command on our program Now we're gonna disassemble our main function. For this, we have a disass main. Now, if you're not familiar with the assembler coding, you might be scared, but don't worry, just watch for the lookout for some important instructions like compare. Because in our program, we are comparing key with the ASCII value sum. So, look ahead for the compare instruction. And here we have the compare instruction. Mm. Yeah, here we have it. We are comparing hexadecimal value 565 with some uh, register value. So let's check uh, what is this hexadecimal 565 in decimal. For that, let me you can use python for that it's a great tool and i strongly encourage you to learn python it's a great programming language if you're into hacking and other stuff it's one of the easiest language to learn so if you convert hexadecimal 565 to decimal it's actually 1381 that means indeed it is our key hexadecimal value so now we're gonna write one script which will generate all the possible keys for this program. In short, we're gonna write a key gen. So let me go ahead and, and quickly write this function. Key is essentially a one of the choices from this characters and it will be appended to the key and if the hex sum is greater than 1381 then the key is reset to null string and if the key is equal to our hexa value then we are gonna simply print our possible key combination onto the screen and note that this is an infinite loop so it will gonna run forever in theory let's see what happens Python keygen.py. Woo! We got a hell lot of keys. Now it's essentially a infinite loop, so we're gonna forcefully end this by Control Z. Now we got hell lot of keys for this program. Now let's try a random key from this.
Wow, that's working. That means we have successfully wrote a key gen for our program. Let's try another one. Sweet, that's also working. So that's how you crack any program in theory. If you do work hard enough, you can crack any program.